Good morning. When I grew up, there were a couple of family amusement parks nearby. And on one of the at one of the parks, there was a roller coaster that would go that would take you upside down, right? I mean, that's the whole point of some of these. And it was called Montezuma's Revenge. Which should have been a warning right there. But I remember that I never wanted to try it. I'm not a big roller coaster fan to begin with. And it doesn't matter how much I know about the science of momentum or of gravity for me to set aside my fear and worry about falling out or having a, a car go sideways on those tracks. Some of us may feel right now that that's kind of what we're experiencing during this time of pandemic. That in some ways, we feel like we're not sure if our life is going off the track. No amount of objective knowledge that we have of what, what our world is like is helping to offset the anxiety and panic in some cases for some people about what our world is like today and what it will be like tomorrow as a result of this virus, this COVID, this shutdown, and all of the side benefits effects of it. This, this sense of not being sure where we are, where we stand, has been heightened in some regards by announcements by our governors. Last week, our governor mandated masks for all tourists and locals who live in this state at all times when you're outdoors. And then earlier this week was the notice that our state has now rocketed to the, to the number one slot, that the rate of spread and um, growth of virus is so high that we are we are bounds above the second state. We are in the number one position. And so again, this might stoke that fire, that worry, that fear that we have. What do you feel about hearing that news? What do you feel in your gut? What do you feel in your heart? Is there a sense of of overwhelming anxiety that is hard to channel into anything else. We are feeling sometimes like the ground is moving beneath us so quickly that the things that we encounter because of this virus, we feel like we can't find a steady foothold. And yet, we are believers. We are people of faith, right? We believe in things that are not seen. So let's think for a minute about that ground that doesn't shift beneath our feet, that presence of the divine that is always there, even when everything else in our world feels like it's falling apart. If we think about the apostles, they struggled with the same thing. They asked Jesus, look, Jesus, show us the Father because they couldn't see or grasp the treasure that was right in front of them. So often it's the same for us. It's a human dilemma. Show us what we can't see. Give us the conviction and the certainty of where all the world does is give us uncertainty. We can't make any plans. We can't know anything ahead of time. Sometimes we may feel like the person who's just so panicked that we're batting away the hands that are trying to help us, just flailing because we're uncertain as to what happens next. But I want you to think for a minute about God, about the divine, about this ground beneath your feet that does not shift. God is the one that embraces you God isn't the one trying to put your hands behind your back to calm you down. God stands before you, behind you, beside you, and then wraps you in the divine embrace. There is nothing that is greater than the love of God for you.
all other things are created. God is not created. God is greater than all the things that panic us, that cause unbelievable fear within us, that have us quaking, that even try to contradict our faith, because we are people of faith, and we try to, oh, like, how do I make sense of this? See yourself, feel yourself in that embrace of the divine. Nothing is greater than that love. No person, no situation, no pandemic, no disease is greater than the love that God has for you. Now, God doesn't tell you there's nothing to be afraid of, right? That would be patronizing. There are things to be fearful of. But as believers, we reach very deep and we believe that even those things that could cause fear can't compete with that overarching providence, that care that God has for us, that love that safeguards, safeguards ourselves, safeguards those we love, that we are in the embrace of God, that God's got you. And if God's got you, nothing else can have you. Don't let this pandemic unsettle you to the point where you lose your peace. Breathe. Focus. Trust in that embrace of God. And all else happens outside of that embrace. That the love of God is the primary protection you have. Nothing can touch you. You belong to God.